Hello and welcome to the channel, slightly different this time and it's working on a DNR Air Mate studio mixing desk. So we've got a bit of a problem with our broadcast when we go through our Air Mate 8. Now this has been in production use for two to three years now. It's a new desk, one of the new USB line of DNR studio desks and we've hit a bit of a problem in when we're live we start to get distortion after around about 30 minutes to an hour and no matter what input it's from, no matter what we're doing, the live output has a problem. So let's take you into it and show you what's going on. As you can probably see, it's most definitely not in the studio right now. This is our Airmate 8 from DNR. It's one of the newer modular type studio mixers. Uh, this one has the USB channels. We've got a couple of USB channels. We've also got the Telco VoIP module as well. Uh, now it doesn't matter which channel you do this on actually, it also happens with the mic input as well. So it just does just show that we have some sort of problem. The problem itself only happens after about 30 minutes to an hour and once it happens it will not recover until we power on and off the desk. No matter what you do in terms of settings, controls, if you leave it so that there's no audio for a while, anything like that, the same happens. Now in our test setup here all I have in fact, I'll show you exactly what's connected. All we have connected is phono input on the channel 4. And this is being fed from my computer. The level is around about halfway, so we're not getting distortion on the input itself. And then the only other connection we've got currently fed is these two here which are the control room speakers. Now you can also plug headphones in and you can hear the same problem through those. You notice we've got no output, this is analog output on this desk. Uh, we've got no output so we're not driving anything else at all. You see USB is disconnected, no phone lines, we're not even driving phantom power to the microphones or anything like that. That is all we have connected. Also it's worth noting the desk isn't particularly abused, you can see it's in really good condition, there's been nothing on it, no damage, it's cleaned regularly, very carefully, um, and it's in a clean and dry studio environment, so it's not being abused in any way, shape or form, so it's definitely not through any use like that. Uh, the outputs, it's driving an FM exciter uh, via processor, things like that. Normal sort of setup. Um, so I don't think there's anything on our input or our output chain that could cause this. And it's kind of proved with the setup I've got here. So what I've got is I've got an audio test running through it at the moment. Um, hopefully this isn't going to hit copyright or anything like that. It's not standard music. Uh, I believe it's copyright few free music that I'm running through it. Now you can see the current settings. Let me show you. We have all faders enabled. They're powered on. Hopefully the green's not swamping the camera. And you can see our channel 4 is lifted up. We've got the gain set on it reasonably high, but at a, at a correct level. You'll see once I play some audio through it, you'll see the VU meters on the master not, uh, not hitting the red. We're, we're not overdriving this. I'm just going to turn the control room speakers almost completely off, and I'm going to run an audio test now. So if I start playback, you can see um, I've got the I've got the control room turned down, so you can't hear it at the moment. But you can see we're driving around about average level on the VU meters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you this piece of audio through the live output as though this was being broadcast. So let me bring the control room speakers up and let's play you the section of music that I think illustrates the problem.
Now what you can hear is you can hear distortion to the notes. Uh, I'm hoping that's coming across clearly on the GoPro because it, it's not the best way of showing you audio problems. Uh, I may see if I can capture it in high quality rather than through the GoPro's audio. But that's the, that's the initial piece of uh, sound that I think illustrates the problem. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to press Q which takes it through a totally separate channel on the mixing desk and I'm now going to play exactly the same piece of music at around about exact well I'm going to try and match the level as close as I can in terms of the control room speakers nothing else has changed and see to compare the sound <laughs> Now I'm hoping the GoPro microphone did it justice there. The second time it came through crystal clear and that's when using the cue and this is what we found in live production. If you use the master output, the main channel, which is where we were feeding our broadcast from, that is when we experienced the problem. As soon as we went to cue, it went away and that was the confusion because we could play the same piece of music on a cue and it sounded fine and this is what kept throwing us off and throwing us away from where the problem was um, we tried all sorts of other things first we didn't replace the desk at first what we did is we changed the sound cards we changed the cabling we looked at all the other options um, and this is what we ended up coming to what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down I'm going to play both pieces of music and all I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle between Q on and Q off and hopefully you'll hear the difference. So what is the problem with our DNR Airmate? Well, we're not quite sure at the moment. Uh, contacting DNR support and we're going to try and figure it out. Hopefully I'll be able to post a follow-up to this very soon and at least narrow it down. Now you can see we've already taken it out of the studio. We've narrowed it down as much as we can by reducing the connections on it. Um, so there's nothing else that we think could be drawing it uh, overdriving it or anything like that so we need to find out what are the next steps in diagnosing it so i'll keep you posted <laughs> 